Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, oops, shouldn't have seen that. <laughs> Today, um, we're going to learn how to sew a pillow. Okay, and there's a reason easy is in the title because this is a pretty easy project to do. Perfect for a beginner sewer. All right. Um, okay, so all you need is what's on the table, really. You need your sewing machine, you need your bobbin, your thread, you need your pins, you need your cut out pillow shape. If it's a square, for beginner, it's easier because to, to draw a square is pretty basic, right? And you need your pillow filling. It's either you buy the loose filling or, or the pillow form. Either is appropriate. But if you use the pillow form, you must have the pillow cut to exactly the size of your form. All right, let's get started. Okay, you'll notice that I have my pillow pinned, pin basted, pin basting happened there. Now... I'm going to respect a certain corner of my pillow. This this side, sorry, a certain side. This side here where I have my yellow pins, I am not going to sew where the pins, between the pins, all right? That's where I'm going to stuff my pillow. Actually, she's a little too tiny. It needs to fit my hand. My hand is not that petite. <laughs> Back my daddy hands. Okay, so I'm going to assemble this pillow, and I'm going to sew it in one shot, meaning I'm not going to sew across, then across, no. When you do that, you tend to have holes in your pillow corners. So the way my machine works, I'm gonna start at this side. I'm gonna do a back tack or reinforce stitches here, half an inch away, get to the corner and pivot. So I'm turning the corner, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna go do that to all sides. When I come back, you'll see my pillow assembled. Okay, so my pillow is assembled, and you notice it looks a little strange, eh? It's a little kind of curved. I didn't curve it. What I did was step two. After you assemble it, it's still to the wrong side. Wrong side, you see. Wrong side, you see. I might turn each corner. I trim each corner down, okay? Because I don't want it to be bulky when it's turned to the right side. So you can see, so you can get you in the frame here. I just trim the corner trying to get a glare i respected my stitching so i gave it like two eighths of an inch of space and i chip, i cut across okay now you turn to the right side what you're going to do after that is press your seams all around and press your pillow fabric flat so it's really wrinkles now what i'm doing before i even turn it i'm, I'm putting my corners out okay so i'm going to do that turn it and you will see a pressed pillow case basically then you move on okay we're ready to move on now so we finished step three which was to turn the pillow to the right side and press the seams flat now I, now I didn't say to press your pillow case flat I actually opened up each seam first like so it's hard to do it now because it's pressed so well you open up each seam and then you press it and then you go like that and press, okay? And that's how I was pressed out well. So I'm leaving it to the side that looks good, okay? <laughs> that looks better. So now step four is the easy part. Fluff and stuff. Why do I say fluff? When you buy the pillow um, filler, it's kind of matted. You fluff it out first. It just, it tends to have a nicer, softer pillow, okay? Fluff, fluff. As much as you need, fluff, 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 fluff. So if you do that, fluff your filling until it's nice and soft, not matted. I would not stuff this like this inside a pillowcase. That is a bad idea. That will not feel nice, okay? I'll all look nice either. So I'm going to fluff, stuff, and then you will see my pillow nice and round and ready to complete step five. Voila! Here's my pillow. I like it. It's not done yet. We have one more step. Okay, your final step is to pin base, which I already did. It's like magic, right? <laughs> you get a pin base, the opening that you left to stuff and fill your pillow. Okay, I used about three pins for, for my opening. I, my opening was about the size of my hand. Okay. And you are going to machine stitch it. Now you will actually have two options to hide and close your pillow up. Slip stitching, machine stitching. 
This is easier to do on machine. Slip requires some practice before you before you go for it. So let's machine stitch your clothes and see our final look. All right? Okay, here's the pillow. It's finished. So a couple of reminders. Um, actually, when you machine stitch it, you need to be very careful because it's kind of cumbersome to get the pillow under that press effect. So what I would do is pin all the spilling back as far as you can. Push it back, okay, before you start to sew it. Then you pin, then you sew, okay? It's easier if you do it that way. Um, and remember that it's five steps to assemble this. The first step, you pin the pillowcase, the, the pillow, the front and back of the pillow together, right side saying, hello. So you should see the wrong side. Step two, you miter each corner so it's nice, nice and pointed and not bulky and unattractive. Step three, you turn to the right side, you press your seams flat and open up. And it's important to press before you get to this step because it's hard to press the pillow unless you have a steamer to get the wrinkles out. And step four, fluff and stuff. Step five, pin base and machine stitch your clothes. Okay? And there you have it. Easy to sew pillow. DIY. When you sew your pillow, please share. All right? It's beautiful. It's fun. A great project to do if we have some time to kill. All right? There you go. Happy sewing.